on that whenever that ends up being but we know he's at least on the roster for at least one additional season so then JJ begs the question about Jordan Love they took him in the first round in 2020 what about the backup quarterback in Green Bay well I think this sort of extension and what you were doing with Rodgers who has now won the MVP for a second consecutive season it really shows that the, you need to use that first round pick in Jordan Love to get some sort of trade compensation in order to make your team better and win a championship and get over the hump. This is what this contract absolutely deems necessary because you can like Jordan Love all you want. You can like him as a backup quarterback, but if something goes wrong with Aaron Rodgers, Jordan Love is not winning you a championship. And I believe the Green Bay Packers know and understand that. So go ahead and get you a piece right now that paired with Aaron Rodgers or maybe paired with that defense will help you get over the hump. What would one of those teams be? Well, we talked about the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes. Uh, two of those teams are going to be disappointed. The Cleveland Browns would keep Baker Mayfield, but the Carolina Panthers are, would be looking and searching uh, while they still have Sam Darnold under his fifth-year deal. The New Orleans Saints need a cheap option. Also, look at the Indianapolis Colts, who still need a quarterback as well. So what could you get Jordan Love for? A second or a third round pick, perhaps, and he would just count about $3 million in dead money uh, based off of where he was drafted those years ago. So I think the Packers absolutely have to explore a trade for Jordan Love. There's no real pressure right now until this quarterback carousel calms down a little bit. So nothing's going to happen before Deshaun Watson, but I would think before the draft, the Packers should absolutely engage other teams in trade talks for Jordan Love. JJ, certainly appreciate it. Check his stuff out, of course, on Twitter and CBSSports.com. In addition to HQ, I want to remind you about the daily football podcast here in the CBS Sports family. That's a Pick 6 podcast with host Will Brinson and the Super Friends, John Breach and Ryan Wilson. r of course, also our draft analyst. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.